Today we're gonna to use a Tabata format. We'll be doing four rounds of Tabata per movement. We have four different movements. So four rounds of movement one, four rounds of movement two, movement three, movement four, and then we do it all again. So at the end of the day, we'll have done eight rounds of each movement. The goal of a Tabata format is to overload the same muscle group with the same movement for 20 seconds of work and then a short recovery period, 10 seconds of rest. So we're really looking to build that burn today. Our main target is gonna be the, the abductors once again. Um, today you can stay in your living room. You don't really need much equipment. You need all four of your bands. I'm gonna do one exercise per band, starting from greatest resistance to least resistance. If any of these movements are too tough for you with that band, do not hesitate to, redu to reduce to a smaller resistance and vice versa. If a movement is too easy, be my guest and go to a heavier resistance. We're gonna start in 25 seconds. Um, the first movement is gonna be a deadlift. I'll be using the blue band for it. So you're gonna stand with that band on the arches of both feet, and your goal is to keep the back arched the whole time, and really pull through with the hamstrings and the butt, all right? We're up in 10 seconds. It is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Our focal point here is the hamstring and the glutes. We're up in three, two, one, and move. We have 20 seconds, so really get that focus in on the hamstrings and butt early and get the most out of it. Our goal is to build as much fatigue in those muscles as possible during this 20 second window. Keep the back totally flat and pull through with the hamstrings and squeeze the butt. And 20 seconds is up. 10 seconds of rest, and then we repeat. It's the same movement, four periods in a row, just to really overload that same muscle. Hamstring and glute, and go. Stretch the hamstring, squeeze the glute. Stretch the hamstring, squeeze the glute. Go out of your way to create that tabletop position and then come back up. This is not a squatting movement, but instead a hinge. So just reach your butt straight back as if you were trying to open up a door because your hands were too full. Three, two, one, and done. Good, two rounds down, two to go. I'm feeling my hamstrings. Sometimes on a movement like this, you have to go out of your way to make sure you get the right muscle. Go, stretch the hamstring as much as you can, use the butt to come back up. Hamstring stretches, squeeze the glutes. Good guys, find a pace and stick with it. We wanna create as much time under tension with this band as we can, so that by the time we get to our next movement, our hamstrings are pretty burned out. Three seconds to go, one more deadlift for me and three rounds down, one to go. When we're done here, we're gonna to switch to the red band and a new movement, so get ready to move. Three, two, one, hamstring stretch, butt cheeks squeeze tight. Last 20 second period here, guys. Get the most out of it. If the blue band was too much, pause the video, grab the red or green band, and then jump back in and catch up. Seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. You can lose that blue band. We're gonna take a 30 second rest in between each movement just to give you transition time to switch to a new band. For the movement we're gonna do with the red band. Place it around both ankles and we'll be climbing into a high plank position. So our plank will be from the hands with our feet pretty wide. And what we're gonna do is stretch that right toe wider and then come back to neutral. Left toe wide, come back to neutral. We're up for our first 20 seconds in three, two, one, and go. Right toe wide, back to neutral. Left toe wide, back to neutral. Guys, on this movement, the main focus has to be your abdominals. Do not let your hips sag and your back arch. Instead, keep the belly pulled in and press away from the floor to avoid that hip sagging and back arching. Time, good. 10 seconds of rest. This is a very active position. Do not try and rest in the plank and just get your legs moving. You'll miss the whole purpose. Three, two, one, go. Press through the floor, right foot out, right foot in. Left foot out, left foot in. Find a pace for you. You can go faster or slower, whatever you feel more. You should be feeling this throughout your abs, your hips, and even your shoulders just from holding your body weight up. Good, three seconds left, two, and one, perfect. If holding yourself up on your arms is too tough, we can go to the elbows. I'll show that modification next. We're up in three seconds. Two more rounds of this. Two, one, and go. Same focus, belly stays tight, hips stay engaged, and keep the feet moving. If 20 seconds is too long, 
Give yourself a three to four second rest in the midst of it and keep on moving. If the red band is too tight, don't hesitate to go to the green or the orange. And time, good. Three rounds down, one to go. I'm already out of breath. Sorry for you having to listen to me breathe this whole time. Three, two, one, last set. Here we go. Butt cheeks stay tight. Belly stays pulled in. Do not let the back arch and keep the feet moving. For me, I find that a slower pace is more effective because I can really focus on the muscles I'm targeting and keep them engaged for longer. For some of you, you might find faster is better for you. Three, two, one, done. Good. 30 seconds of rest, lose the red band. Two movements in, two movements to go. This is gonna be our toughest movement of all four today. It's a throwback to the old Isabella fitness days. We're gonna bring this band just below the kneecap. Make sure it's flat, especially if you have leg hair, it'll pull your leg hair right out. And what we'll be doing is a full squat with a side shuffle. So for each 20 second period, we'll go 10 seconds to the right and 10 to the left. We're up in three, everybody squat, two, one, shuffle to the right for 10 seconds. The most important thing on this movement is that we maintain our squat integrity. Three seconds till we switch directions. And other way. Do not allow your toes to turn out. Do not allow your knees to cave in. The whole point of this exercise is to keep those knees driving outward in a healthy squat position. Whoo, that burns. Stay as low as you can. If staying that low makes the squat ugly, then stay a little bit higher. Three, two, one. This time to the left first. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna start hyperventilating on here. Good job, guys. Toes are forward, knees are wide. I'll keep you updated with the time. And to the right. Stay low, stay on the heels. Don't be standing on your toes. Three, two, one, time. This is only gonna be as effective as the quality of your squat. So don't just go through the motions. Keep the highest quality of squat you can. And down, to the right this time. Staying on the heels, toes are forward, and my knees are wide. Now, the wider I stand, the more resistance is on this band. If this band is too much resistance to begin with, try it with the orange. If the band is too much resistance, period, try it without the band, it's gonna be plenty tough. Three, two, one, hoo, hoo, hoo. Good, 10 seconds of rest. Last set here. We're gonna go to the right first again. Three, two, one, in. 10 seconds to the right. If you're not breathing like I am at this point, you're doing it wrong, guys. Stay low and make it burn. Halfway, 10 seconds to the left. Anytime that you have to stand up and shake it out, be my guest. I'd rather you have five really good seconds and time than 20 really ugly seconds. Now, lose that green band. Let's go to the orange. And this time, the exercise will be done from laying on your side with the band around the ankles. It's going to be a scissor. So you'll make sure that your hips are in line so your butt's not sticking out, your legs are totally straight, and all you're gonna do is use this butt muscle here to stretch against the band. We're up in three, two, one, and go. 20 seconds here. Slower is more beneficial for me on these ones. Outside of the hip is what we're aiming for. And believe me, trying to do this with anything heavier than the orange band would be devastating. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, one, and quick roll over to the other side. 10 seconds of rest. And now we're doing the same thing to the opposite side. Three, two, one, and go. You can choose to be down on your shoulder, resting on your arm, up on the elbow, whatever's most comfortable for you and allows you to feel that outside butt muscle the best. Eight seconds left. Five, four, if you need to rest, rest. Three, if you need to pause the video, pause the video. And time, good. One side on the left, one side on the right. And now we got one more of each. Up in four, three, two, one, go. 20 seconds here, everybody. Keep it moving. If you need to stop and slow down, be my guest. I am on fire right now, but that's why we only need to do these workouts for 18 minutes and it's more than enough. Seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and time. Good. One more time, this time on the right side again, or right side up, I should say. We're up in three, two, 
One, and go. After this, we're back to our deadlift. So this completes the first half of the workout. 15 seconds to go. Let it burn. This is a bit of a different muscle than we'll be feeling on the deadlift, so it's okay if it's unbearable right now. We'll recover from it shortly. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and done. Good. Now, this is another movement. Probably pretty effective without the band as well. So if using the band is a little bit too tough for you, do not feel guilty attempting it without the band. We're up in 20 seconds. We're back to our deadlifts. We're gonna keep things moving and get you done with this quickly. Blue band underneath the arches of both feet. If last time the blue band was too heavy, be smarter this time. Get something lighter, get more out of it. We're up in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Different focus once again. Now we're aiming for directly in the back of the leg, the hamstring. My feet are close together. Hamstrings stretch as deep as they can and then shorten explosively to come back to the top. And I know I'm done when my butt cheeks can't squeeze any tighter and rest. Good. Three more sets of these and then we are officially done with the blue band. Four seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Hamstring stretch, shorten. Hamstring stretch, butt squeezes. Back stays arched, do not slouch. These bands are very safe to exercise with, but you also have to be very aware of your body position. Don't be an old man or an old lady on this and make one look like this. You will hurt your back and rest. 10 seconds of rest, two more sets, and then we are done with our deadlifts. Three, two, one, and go. During rounds three and four of this Tabata, these movements start to really build up and become unbearable just because we're overloading the same muscles over and over again with an inadequate amount of rest. But that's the whole point, guys. I don't want you to just let this time pass and try and survive and get through it and make it easy and rest. I want you to utilize this time. You take 18 minutes today for yourself. Even though it sucks, it's gonna be over before you know it. Get the most of it. Three, two, one, go. This is your final opportunity to feel your hamstrings on these deadlifts. So really make it count. Again, don't pass the time, utilize the time. This 18 minutes is all yours and I want you to leave here being a better, stronger, fitter, maybe happier person because of it. One more rep and 20 seconds is up. Good, lose that blue band. I personally am done with it. None of these other movements I can manage that blue band with. We are back to the plank. The red band for me, whatever is appropriate for you, you can place it around your ankles right now. And we're up in 12 seconds to begin our plank. I'm gonna start with the high plank position again, and I'll alternate between high and low so you can see them both. We're up in three, two, one, and right toe out, right toe in. Left toe out, left toe in. Go at your own pace, everybody. 20 seconds, utilize it. Get the most out of it. Stay tight and build that muscle fatigue. And rest, good. 10 seconds of rest. I'm gonna switch over to my elbows. We're up in five seconds. A lot of focus on the abs, a lot of focus on the glutes. Two, one, hit it. I'm gonna go a little bit faster and see how it feels. Faster is tougher for me. Seven seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, two rounds left. All I'm thinking about right now is surviving. But it's 20 seconds, it'll be over before we know it. I'm gonna make it hurt. Three, two, one, go ahead, make it hurt. Hopefully, you're breathing louder than I am, so you can't hear me, and it's not too distracting. Seven seconds left, make it count. Three, two, one, and rest, good. One set left, and we're done with another movement. And then we go to the worst movement of all, the squat. Three, two, one, hit it. I'm glad I decided to break this Tabata up into two rounds, because doing eight consecutive Tabata cycles of this, I would have been quitting on you guys. Seven seconds, here we go, five, three, two, 
and 10. Good, two movements down, two movements to go. We're 75% done with this whole workout, and this one's gonna test all of us. For this round, just to keep my quality high, I'm not gonna use the band, I'm going body weight. I'd rather see really healthy looking squats on your heels with your knees wide, and the most important thing that everybody's gonna get wrong, your toes should be pointing forward. Don't let your toes turn out too far. Five seconds, get ready. The best squat you can give me, down now, and let's go to the right for 10 seconds. Good, tiny little steps, all right? They should be very quick, but tiny. If I step slow, then I'm not getting much out of this lateral movement, and back to the left. If I step fast, that's a lot of time with just one foot on the ground, so that band really works my glutes. All right, small steps. I'm not trying to travel far, and done, good. Over the course of that 20 seconds, I might have traveled 18 inches to the right and 18 inches back. The goal isn't to travel distance. The goal is to create fatigue down to the right. Here we go. 20 seconds here, guys. We are on the seventh set of four Tabatas. Only out of eight, to the left. We're doing good. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Good. Two more of these, we'll survive this, then we have our scissors, and we are done for the day of our Versa Loop workout. Three seconds, and we're going to the right, and down. Here we go, fight it, guys. I'm hurting on this one. Stay down here with me. Three seconds till we switch direction, and to the left. Stay low, toes are forward no matter what, knees are wide no matter what, heels are down no matter what. Even if you can't squat this low, keep those other things and done. Keep those other things in line. There's no excuse not to have those things in check, even if we only squat two inches. Last round, three, two, get down to the right. Here we go, guys. Last section of what I think is the worst movement of this whole combo, and then we get to move on to the final leg of this 18 minute, to the left, of this 18 minute burner. Good, five, four, three, two, hi-ya. Oh, my legs are shot after that. If you do that right, it should be one of the worst exercises you ever do. All right, I'm on the ground. 20 seconds, and we're doing our scissors, and then we are done with this for the day. Band or no band. These are tough regardless. We're up in 10 seconds, 20 seconds of, worse of work, 10 seconds of rest. By this point in the workout, my bands are sloppy. It's okay, three, two, one, go. Time under tension. Let that abductor burn, and then we are done for the day. Whew. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. It's nice getting to lay down after that squat hold, Whew. even though I'm hitting the same muscles right now. Three, two, one time, good. All right, switch sides. Get ready, five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Good. We're approaching the 17 minute mark. I promised 18, 10. Let's see if I was accurate or not. Good job, guys, 10 seconds left. And then we have two more cycles. Five seconds, three, two, and time, good. All right, 40 seconds of exercising left. 40 seconds is nothing, that clock is relentless. It's not gonna stop, you don't stop. It'll be done before you know it. Three, two, one, go. There's only one way out, and that's just to get the work done. Oh man, no matter how hard it gets. 10 seconds. This little orange band feels like nothing in the beginning. And now it's very humbling. Three, two, and time, good. All right, last 20 seconds of work. I think I was spot on with the time. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, go. This is 18 minutes to make you feel great for the rest of the day. Very low impact on the body. And I managed to break a sweat, I hope you did too. 10 seconds left. If you did this correctly and you really focused on getting the most out of it, five seconds, this should be enough. Three, two, one, ho. Oh. For any of you crazy people who don't think it was enough, rewind, play it again. That's a wrap, guys, good job. <laughs>